What's up guys, Carl here from No Bull Training. This is video number three of our seven part series. This is gonna go over goblet squatting, or squatting. So real quick, kettlebell, goblet position, super tight, elbows tight, shoulders back, chest up. Feet shoulder width apart, everyone's a little different. Some people flare their feet out, externally rotate, that's okay a little bit. Big breath in, deep, 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 deep. Shoot up. Now your depth will vary from person to person, but you want to break parallel with your femurs. I'm not saying you have to bury your hips in the grass, but you want to get low. Break your hips with parallel, shoot up, I'll give you one more, and then hop out. Now some of you are going to have problems getting to that depth. Even myself, I have, a, I have limited ankle range of motion, so what some people can do is one, they can just add a heel lift. This does a couple things. One, it increases the length of your tib fib compared to your femur. And two, it takes away any lack of dorsiflexion you may have. So same setup position, goblet position. Now I have an elevated heel. So easily, I can just get deeper and shoot up. Even for me, immediately it's easier. I can shoot my weight down and back, keep my chest high, and stand up. If I still have problems, a lot of females will have this because of their Q angle, they'll have something called valgus. So what I'm going to do is that's where their hips collapse, weak glutes, and their knees bow in. That's deadly to the knee. So what you can do quickly, put a band right below your knee. So now I get something called adduction stimulus. So immediately I'm going to think, okay, well I'm being pulled in, so I'm going to push out. So same rules apply, heels elevated, push your knees out, deep squat, deep squat, deep squat, push your knees out, stand up. Right away I feel more glute activation. Deep squat, shoot out. Now you don't need a lot of reps, but you need a lot of good reps. Give it a shot.